Hi, my name is Elena de Jagger, and I just graduated from the University of Regina's Master of Music program in piano performance. First of all, let me say a big thank you to the Regina Musical Club for this opportunity. The last few months have been pretty crazy, but there have also been some really neat things that have come out of it. But first, a little bit of history about myself. Um, music has always been a huge part of my life since I began formal piano lessons at the age of seven. I always had a passion for sharing the gift of music with others. So after high school, naturally I went on to study music. I went to Briarcrest College in Cairnport. And after graduating with my bachelor degree and completing my ARCT, I began teaching piano, theory, and accompanying singers in the Cairnport Moose Jaw area. It has been so rewarding to invest in the lives of my students and watch them develop both musically and as people. In an effort to further advance my own skills, I decided it was a good time to pursue graduate studies at the University of Regina. And what a blessing it has been to further my studies and continue my work teaching and collaborating. This blessing has been compounded by the fact that I get to study with professionals such as Dr. Katherine Dowling. What a privilege it has been to work with her these last two years. So my studies and lessons were progressing very well and nearing an end when the news of a pandemic started spreading through the media. Then in the middle of my final semester, it all came to a head. Suddenly everything either shut down or was canceled. The school building closed, concerts and performances were all canceled. Lessons were, in-person lessons were canceled. They had to go to an online format, which presented a whole nother host of other issues. It was disorienting to say the least. And I was especially sad about losing the opportunity to perform in master classes for visiting artists, to perform in concerts. Um, for example, in early April, I was supposed to perform my first ever piano concerto with an orchestra, a live orchestra, not just another piano. And of course, probably the most disappointing thing to cancel was the opportunity to publicly perform my final recital, which represents the culmination of my graduate studies at the University of Regina. But as a musician, and especially as a collaborative artist, I'm trained to be flexible. So adapting to new situations is kind of what I do. So my lessons with Dr. Dowling moved to an online format and because some of her professional commitments were also canceled, which is so sad. But through that, I was actually able to receive even more instructional time with her than I normally would have. And her help was invaluable as I engaged in the process of recording my recital pieces. This was to replace my live graduate recital, which would have been performed in a hall with an audience. But once I finished all the requirements for my degree, recorded the recital, did my defense, um, the sheltering in place orders actually allowed me time to rest. Normally, I would have jumped right into the throes of presenting two full musicals through Briarcrest Summer Stage, of which my family and I are heavily involved. But sadly, it had to be canceled. But this did allow me the time to slow down. And it also allowed me to spend a lot of time with my family. I have, I have three children. And that's probably been the biggest blessing of all. So in the future, however that's going to look, um, I will continue to maintain an active teaching studio. I'll also um, continue my accompanying work for student festivals, uh, recitals, juries, and various performances in and around Southern Saskatchewan. Um, some upcoming goals I have include working as an adjudicator for the musical festival circuit, becoming an examiner for the Royal Conservatory of Music, as well as maintaining an active performance life of both solo and collaborative repertoire. And perhaps once my kids are older, I'll take the next step and pursue my DMA. Now, the piece I have chosen to share with you is a prelude that actually comes from France. It was composed in the year 1929 by a French composer by the name of Olivier Messiaen. Now this piece is the last prelude from a set of eight and is called Un Reflet dans le vent, which means a reflection in the wind. Following Debussy's lead, Messiaen gave each prelude a descriptive title to suggest the character and the narrative of the music. 
Messiaen's compositions contain a very distinct sound, and they were highly influenced by the colors he saw when he heard specific sonorities. This is called synesthesia. Now, in this piece, you'll hear harmonies that do not move in a predictive fashion. Rather, the ambiguous chords are used more for their color and their effect. The music of Un Reflet dans les Vents conjures up images of the wind as it capriciously dances and swirls around. And us as citizens of Saskatchewan are very familiar with wind, aren't we? <laughs> so in the music, this wind is expressed through a variety of pianistic textures and colors and dynamic intensities, cluster chords, cross rhythms, and large movements across the piano. So once again, thank you to the Regina Musical Club for this opportunity. Thank you for the University of Regina for partnering so I can be a part of this. Um, I trust you will enjoy listening to this piece as much as I enjoyed preparing it. Thank you so much.